new star system alpha 4.0 update new patch as well as what we can expect by citizen con you've come to the right place before we get into this video i'd like to let y'all know that i'm doing a giveaway for the drake cutter in order to participate all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of september let's continue all right guys lots and lots of information to get through today uh just to start off i want to get the patch notes for 3.24 out of the way this way we can talk about the more interesting things such as 4.0 and what we can expect by citizen con all right so with this one with this latest 3.24 patch they just did a one feature update pertaining to ships it says they've added many new cargo hauling rentals to all rental shops so if you watched one of my previous videos they did include a list of ships that they wanted to add to the rental this way we can have access to more ships to do the uh, more rewarding cargo missions as of late they did update the prices of ships so it's a little harder to obtain the bigger hauling ships now so it's a good idea for them to add them to the rentals so this is a good move so there's a few bug fixes for this one they fixed an issue um, where uh, planetary rocks and asteroids become invisible and causing player collision and explosions in particular to this one they said that they uh they did fix they're confident that the fix for this one is actually working um so go ahead and test that out so they've also fixed an issue where an instance hangar is assigned at an exit door and external doors does not open properly they fixed an issue where leaving the menu with a ship on a pad does not stow personal hangar for the next shard join they fix an issue where players are observing extremely high entity count across stanton as well as high memory usage they fix an issue where uh, ships and vehicles that are parked anywhere inside of the person hangar are always stored when the player exits the menu they fix an issue where mission offered below rank of uh, four of hauling career can force players to accept box boxes 16 SCU and up blocking early freight uh ships from completion they face an issue where vehicles cannot be repaired uh restocked or refill services in hangars until it has left and landed again they fix an issue where freight manager kiosks can become stuck with loading content or transfer complete pop-up they fix an issue where moving cargo from a warehouse to an elevator and back in the freight manager causes the cargo to be lost they fix this where coping horns sell prices are being lowered than intended along with this is four client crashes four server crash fixes a hybrid service crash fix in a fixed client crash related to intel 13th and 14th gen cpus interesting all right so pertaining to star season alpha 4.0 there has been some new updates just today they did a roadmap roundup and essentially they finally updated the progress tracker and uh this is actually really good news we've gotten some new information pertaining to what's uh what they've been working on and how far along they are so um i have a list here that i wanted to go through in terms of features and when we can expect them so based on the progress tracker uh features that are uh, slotted to be complete, completed around the beginning of 2025 is going to be base building, crafting, uh, quantum travel experience, and weapon misfire and wear. So based on the current state of the progress tracker, these should be completing around the beginning of January. So now when we look at the ones that are slotted to be completed before the end of 2024 so in my opinion i think these are all probably all going to make it into stars and alpha 4.0 so this is really exciting stuff so the list is engineering fire fps radar and scanning item overheat jump point life support mfd rework new mission repair charge and drain they did show this a little bit um, in the previous Inside Star Citizen. Uh, vehicle radar and scanning, acidic caves, asteroid facilities, contested zones, forward operating bases. I haven't, I don't think they've covered this just yet. I'm sure we'll hear more about what forward operating bases is. Does, that, does this mean orcs can own their own bases? That would be really exciting to finally see that. Homestead, pyro space stations, rocks and sand cave updates and um 
for vehicles really exciting rsi polaris zeus um which is going to be the cl and the es and um, a few of the hornet variants are also slotted to be completed before the end of the year and in addition six unannounced vehicles are slotted to be completed by the end of this year which means we should be seeing a lot of these things in the citizen con patch and uh during um iae so we are slotted to see a lot of exciting things so now cig is this is if there is if there's going to be any time for cig to sell ships it will be the end of this year when star season alpha 4.0 drops star season alpha 4.0 will bring in a vast majority of the player base that have been waiting on the sidelines um waiting until this project at least reaches a point where it's playable in their eyes and i think starts off a of 4.0 is that patch so i think this is a great opportunity for them to capitalize on that and bring in a lot of new ships as well as uh the ones that people always wanted anyways uh including the rsi polaris um seeing six unannounced vehicles being available by the end of the being uh completed by the end of the year I think uh, it's it's a great opportunity for CIG to make some serious cash and uh, set themselves up for the next couple of years <laughs> if they can actually deliver Star Citizen Alpha 4.0. No, everything hinges on 4.0 being dropped. And yes, I forgot to mention it earlier. They did say that because of the 3.24 hangar update, um, which is a prerequisite for uh, 4.0, because of those delays and they need to take a little more time to just iron things out they pushed uh star season alpha 4.0 from being q3 to q4 2024 also in other news cig is dropping a new um launcher so everybody needs to download this launcher and have it installed before uh, i believe october sometime in october uh, let me see if i can get this here the exact date will be october 1st 2024 reason being is the old launcher is going to no longer work after that date so make sure i'm going to leave a link to that spectrum post in the description of this video go there and download the new launcher uh this way you don't run into issues during that time all right before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one. peace